Hello and welcome to see if it sticks. The news that sticks. Almost forgot the name. I'm Ross. I'm Dan. And I'm Doc. Hello and welcome. Um, this <laughs> is, uh, <laughs> hello. hello and welcome. Come on in. Um, <laughs> Take a seat on the sofa in front of the fire. Mix up comfy, Chardonnay. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't have roof in it, I promise. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe just a tad. Just to take the edge off. This is uh, something that's very close to our heart after the last episode we did um, yeah. that I found online is a device... I can't, this doesn't say the fucking name of it, does it? The phone lock box. The phone lock box. The phone lock box. Thanks to right. Unilad on, on Facebook. I'll play the a little clip of it so you can see what it's all about. But basically, it's for people who won't stop fucking texting all the fucking time or constantly looking at their phone. And you have a little box and you can put your phone in it and you set a time and it locks your phone in that box for a set time. What happens if you absolutely need to get it out? So I lock, I lock my box in there. You, and you lock I, your box in there. You could I lo- put this I, box in another box. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, for example, we are we go out on a... Um, one afternoon, we go out for a picnic together. As we the are th- offered three, want to do. The three of us. And um, Dom gets spooked with eating jam sandwiches. And a wasp comes along and oh, runs God. off. Then... In the panic, the wasp stings you, Ross. Oh, you God. are allergic to the wasp sting. Am I? I need to contact the authorities, but in order to have quality time with each other, we've locked all of our bloody phones in a lockbox. There must be... what well, I think in that situation, maybe you can break it. Right. In but you couldn't setting. just do that if you wanted to use your phone and someone locked it in the lockbox anyway. Well, you could. You could crack Jimmy it open, couldn't you? Get your crowbar out, pop it open, but yeah. you've broken the lockbox then, haven't you? You've defeated the point of it. It's more of a... It's more of a Social acceptable. But you're dying. You're all agreeing to this box. You know, it doesn't need a lock on it, does it? That's what I'm saying. It doesn't need a it lock. It doesn't need a lock on yeah, it. Yeah, this one's got a lock on it, but there could be a little bin bag, and then before we, you know, did the podcast, everyone's thrown in the bag, and then we put it away and we put it to one side. But I'm just saying, people nowadays are obsessed with this idea of having true. their phone with them. They're constantly looking in it, and they're constantly living through it. And I can imagine family time. Like, we've we were lucky enough to have our family time before the phones took over the world yeah so there were there were evenings where I would sit down and watch EastEnders with my mum and dad and I would have to watch EastEnders it's only four channels back then anyway, it was wasn't it, it? Five. five five came in five came in when I I remember five could starting could you get five could you, we couldn't get channel five done oh, I was in Essex wasn't I we, we I got channel yeah, five course, done yeah. really yeah it bounced oh. over from Essex from fucking South End oh really Probably. Probably. Yeah, 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 probably did. Probably got yeah. it from South End, whereas the people down in the middle of Kent yeah, get it for ages. We couldn't get Channel 5. No. We were missing out on that. That's where the good that. smart was on. We were, on we were missing out. Oh, yeah, yeah, boobies on Channel missing 5. Missing out on that quality program. What was that woman that was in everything? Shannon something. What was her name? I want to say Shannon Tweed. Was that her name? That's Cheryl it's, Tweed. No, someone, someone's etched in my mind as this like woman who was, was in every five erotic movie. Oh. And she was in everything. She always getting a getting her jugs out. Wow. Hello. Yeah, I reckon that's her name. I'm going to Google it after the show. Don't remember her name, but you remember the jugs. The remember the jugs. But she was in everything on Channel Five. But you guys missed out on that. Well, you didn't. But perfect alabaster, alabaster globes. <laughs> 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 but I think we could use this this box for other things. Do you not think? You could lock your an elderly relative's medication in it. <laughs> <laughs> just for fun. A wasp. <laughs> As a fun practical joke. <laughs> It's just a prank. It's just a prank. So- oh my god! So the social <laughs> experiment. Yeah. Lock my nan's uh, <laughs> medication in the lockbox. She'd be too frail to break it open. Do you know what? I don't understand why those people they go. It's just a prank. It's just a prank. Don't expect to get hit after they've been a complete cunt. Yeah. Just saying it's just a prank is, isn't making it any better. Oh imagined. well, if it was just for jolly japes, don't worry about it. You've just punched me in the face. Yeah. Nah, I that's why you never see you hardly ever see it over here where you get the terrible reactions over here because people just don't want to no in fact um, there was one quite popular uh, online prankster whose name I'm not going to say because they don't deserve to have any sort of uh, um, advertisement on this show that um, quite often uh, knocks about in Canterbury and um, when my office was still in Canterbury yeah uh, a member of our staff was walking back from lunch with another member of our staff and he stopped them and uh, just to 
pull back the curtain here, it said, do you want to be famous? Uh, and they went, no. And he went, well, I, I want to, you know, I just need you to do something in this video. And they went, no, fuck off. And he was like, well, why don't you want to be famous? And they were like, because it's not famous, is it? Like, Yeah, who's going to remember you? Yeah. Mm. That, that, Lock his phone in the box. The guy, the guy that actually Lock makes these videos is, isn't, even, isn't even famous as far as I'm concerned. None of these mm. people are fucking famous. So stupid! Oh, fuck it. Oh, you've got there's a very few of them that are actually prank videos now. There's a few of them that not the, not the prank guys, not at all. But I quite like the um, Aaron Craskell ones. I thought I always thought they were quite funny. They're just silly. They're kind of mm. harmless. Oh, and the Dapper Laughs ones. I always thought some of them were quite funny yeah. as well. But they, you know, he was never pranking people. He was just being no. Silly he was never doing anything. Like, he was just sort of having a laugh. But at the Stop same time, saying their names, Ross. You're perpetuating this. So I'm shit. saying it because I enjoyed them. That's what I'm saying. I'm just saying um, it was never really appealed to me personally. No shit. Um, but if it makes you happy, mate. Yeah, thanks. I'll continue to view. Please do. Fat, <laughs> fat people could put chocolate in a box, couldn't they? Yeah, you could do that. You could do well, diet. People who are looking box. to just diet in general. Yeah, not just fat. I people. could lock all the beans in a box. In the world, that'd be like a Pandora's box for you, like you, yeah. Mm. All the wooden spoons. Oh yeah, they can all go in a box. Don't put them in a dishwasher. Not that, not, not that box, Ross. No, Remember no, the electrical box. Well, you could do it at work, couldn't you? You could put your phone in the box because if you wanted to like have like a real like intense half hour of get your head down and work without any distractions, you could put your phone in the box. I mean, this would never That's work true, for good. your job, obviously. No. But I, a place I used to work at, used to block out Facebook until yeah, except between one and two at lunchtime. Yeah. That makes sense. And yeah, Facebook lots of can, do that. Yeah. Yeah. But I mean, obviously, you work on Facebook, so it's not yeah. really going yeah. really to help you, is it? <laughs> you, you can only work at lunch internet. when you're not here. <laughs> Down at Bocadillo's. Bocadillo's! Uh, you'll be lucky to see me out of the office over lunch. Yeah. I'm usually walking around the office doing something with a sandwich in my hand. Yeah. Hello, Bocadillo's! Hello, Bocadillo's! <laughs> <laughs> we have to do it one day. Yeah, yeah part of a call up. We'll ring him. It's just a prank! Yeah. It's just a prank. It's just a prank. Bocadillo's social experiment. Yeah, yeah. Will they flip out if we go in there and tip over all their tables? I wonder. Let's find it's out. Just a prank. Don't worry. I'm just a massive cunt. <laughs> That's <laughs> twice. We've had the c word on the show. That's twice how I this feel week. about a lot of these people. They're like, you know, they like touch up girls and all sorts of stuff. It's really it's not cool, is it? It's not on. No, it's not it on. Cool. No, that's what I was saying. I like the harmless ones, the ones who are just making fools of themselves. That's fine. Yeah, if you're doing it for people to laugh at you, it's a different story. Yeah, like you like doing a stupid like fool or something. The, uh, like two of my currently two of my trigger words are prank war. Oh, is that where like? Oh my oh. fucking god! When is that see, where two pranks does? Yeah, fall one out bloke's of each other. doing it to one another bloke, or it's just girlfriend or something and I just think oh fuck off yep it's the world we live in now though Dan awful it's awful welcome to the future mm. well this we is all what, know it's going to be like this I think some I think the guy who invented the internet probably would never have bothered you know, it's supposed to be a fucking information sharing tool for academics and whatnot. well it's broadened its remit somewhat <laughs> yeah well I'm not getting any fucking information from these stupid fucking it's 90% pornography isn't it the internet that's what we could do is, is, is the, <laughs> 90% pornography is change the, the podcast to 90% is, pornography is the lockbox air like airtight because then we could just put all of the internet pranksters in a large one and suffocate like them they could prank each other to death in there yeah it's just a prank it's just actually a pr- that's what we should do TV. We're going we're to put internet prankster, insert name here, into this giant lockbox for seven minutes. It's just a prank, bro. It's just a prank. He's dead. Good. <laughs> Schrodinger's prankster. <laughs> He's both alive and dead. Oh, uh, shit. He's pranking and not pranking at the same time. Uh, uh, just just in case on the off chance that the like some sort of fight or flight adrenaline thing kicks in and they manage to hold their breath for seven minutes, I'd probably accidentally set it for seven fucking hours. <laughs> Well, I think this here's is an idea. TV show. Bring them all in. Give them what they want. Famousness. But what they do? Thunderdome. A hundred yeah. internet pranksters Ooh. enter. None leave. Yeah, I'd like none, to see that. Not even one. Maybe one leaves. I actually... But then he's shot on the way out. I actually pitched <laughs> this idea a few years ago on Twitter 
because they had uh, I can't remember what chat TV channel it was. It was a little bit like have you seen um, recently? There's been a TV show on Channel Four where uh, I'm gonna you won't be able to see it on the podcast. But I'm gonna do it in inverted commas. Um, celebrities go out on dates with people. And oh be, yeah, and, and what what rating are these celebrities? What letter? Um, I mean, are they I like Z? Know, the, is there a letter we're, after Z? We're in the Greek alphabet, Ross. All oh, right, okay. Omegas. Omegas. Yeah. Yes. Actually, no. Omegas. Actually, do you know what? The it, end and the beginning. So it's it'd be good. so so. It'd be so far back in an alphabet. I don't think it would probably just be a picture of a bird shitting somewhere. Like a Sumerian <laughs> Sumerian <laughs> yeah, cuneiform. Yeah. Give me an example of a celebrity. Um, Actually, that aforementioned internet prankster we wouldn't say the name yeah of. we're not gonna say the name he's in it um, that's really? how low we're going so for example the girl from tattoo yeah bi- fixes not the one of the tattoo eyes the girl that's on reception the receptionist it's tattoo, tattoo fixes. fixes fuck so basically that's surely ha- what the whole point of the show is that they're trying to see how celebrities people react to the celebrity when they go well, on a date with them but they're exactly. not celebrities you would think that Ross yeah you'd have to get a celebrity for that that's not yes that's not a celebrity so my my a few years ago once TV shows tended towards all of these celebrity things you know you get celebrities do this celebrities do that and they never really celebrity comes on with me as an exception that's okay because they get a bunch of old like washed up yeah but the thing is that's what that's what I want to see like D-list has-beens doing like in their modest family homes cooking on dirty cut cooking with dirty cutlery fucking up a fucking chicken casserole for you say that is what I want to see because that is what I imagine they do. Yeah. Mm. And they're not living in a mansion. They're not no. David Beckham. They are, like, that is what they're doing. They're making Maggie so juicy for dinner. Well, well, well Maggie so juicy is good though. I know it is. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. You know, they are like us. Like, but, <laughs> Perhaps a bit more comfortable. But I can't remember which, which TV channel it was that I pitched it to on Twitter. But I, basically my pitch was that if all of these people are so desperate to hold on to just fleeting moments of fame then we should have like a battle battle to the death and you know these people that get internet famous again i'm using uh air quotes air quotes here get internet famous they're so desperate to do it like this is they're so desperate for affection so or so, someone to just look at them for five fucking minutes there's obviously a bleak hole inside of them mm. then what they should do is they say they should put them on like a like Fort Boyard. <gasps> Remember Fort or Boyard. Crystal, or Crystal Maze, but they actually get locked in. Forever. Like, it's actually real. It's they, actual when death. they get locked in, in the underwater they zone, they, they drown. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know, it's coming back. Yes, I've heard. It will never be the same, but it's coming back. Who's hosting? Not Richard O'Brien, because he recently came out as with some very, like, it was really harsh on something. I did he? see who they we're getting to host I can't remember as long as it's not Stephen Mulhern I'll be happy I was going to say with you, is it Stephen Mulhern <laughs> it's not Stephen Mulhern it's a Channel 4 property isn't it yeah yeah. it won't be Stephen Mulhern it'll probably be Dara O'Brien because he's apparently licensed to present everything including fucking Robot Wars eh. he's not presenting Robot Wars yes he is but I, I do you know Frank what Charles not doing it anymore do you know what no. I've got to say I watched that crack I'm, mate he's not BBC friendly anymore is he I watched they'll have episode. him on BBC Radio 2 to do a funk and soul thing but they won't have him presenting Mate, Robot Wars I watched an episode of the new Robot Wars the other day it was fucking great oh no it's good it it's was good. just how I remembered it it's good just without Craig Charles and some of them are really like OT OTT yeah, yeah, there's yeah. ones with like spinning blades like blades like as thick as your arm that fucking go around at like 5000 RPM well, technology's moved on a bit. Yeah, it, it has. Well, that's last. the thing. Like, they were talking about that when they like how the batteries are like yeah, smaller, yeah. you can fit more gubbins inside, one of, one of them and the it's other, lighter. The episode I was watching the other day had a really interesting one on there. It was such a good idea. It was a bit of a shame they didn't do so well because it was probably, they, they said that it was probably the most expensive robot that's ever been on Robot Wars, but they've made it modular. Yeah, I'd seen that. Yeah, I see that. So one. the thing is, it's a bit came it's off. obviously, yeah, if a bit came off, they should be able to sort of like slot another you know, just take the whole section off and put it back in. But my, most importantly is that they had modular weapons. Yeah. So that if they were going, you know, fighting something which had a certain ground clearance, they would use a certain weapon. If yeah. they were using something else, they put a spinning blade on it and stuff like that. But it just got fucked. Well, yeah, I just, think that was more about the driving. I just, what I've realized since watching Robot Wars, because a lot of them are quite evenly matched now in like terms of technology. Yeah. It really is down to like the piloting. Yeah, mm. like you wouldn't think about it before because it doesn't look like they're doing much. But actually, if you're really good 
like driver of these things, you can get yourself out of most jams, I've found. Has it still got the same house robots? Yeah. Yeah, but they're upgraded. Are they? Like dead metal looks more meh, 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 meh than ever. Yeah. Sweet. So kill a lot. It's always been useless, but it's awesome looking. Yeah. yeah. Sergeant Bash isn't on it. It's the original house robots. Is he plus not? A, no. So it's Matilda. I thought I saw Sergeant Bash on there. No, no, no. That you're thinking about Shunt. Maybe I'm thinking. Hey, about what Shunt. does Matilda have? Matilda's got Matilda's the, like that uh, aardvark looking she's like, like a triceratops a rhinos, I like think triceratops, and it? she's got like a uh, <laughs> aardvark aardvark to triceratops a big jump I was just thinking like when they're, sit, when they're sitting around the boardroom and they're like we're going to have a mean robot like what should we model it after a dinosaur should we model it after a shark should we model it after an aardvark <laughs> <laughs> she's got an ankle grinder on, on her bum someone's gone through the book of animals and they got to the first page Hard fire. That'll do it. <laughs> <laughs> She's got an angle grinder on her bum and like tusks on the front that flip. Yeah, I'll, have, I'll look again. I can't remember it. And Shunt's the one that's got like a plow and a big axe on it. Mm. Shunt and, looks like a possum. Yeah, and Dead Metal looks like um, a bandicoot. <laughs> <laughs> right. So, yeah. <laughs> oh, God. Should we wrap it up for the day? Yeah, let's wrap it up. It's getting late, isn't it? <laughs> let's go and watch some fucking Robot Wars. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Fuck this shit. We'll have to watch Robot Wars. Let's go Wars. get some Krispy Kringle and watch Robot Wars. <laughs> yeah. oh do you know what? Best we, night ever. Yeah. Next time we do a podcast, I want the intro to literally be... Three, two, one. Activate. activate. Consider I it could, done. I could be the new guy that does three, two, one. Activate, I think. I think you could do. Yeah. Do it. Record it now. Just so did it. For it. Just did it. Oh, okay. Sorry. It's recorded. Done. Well, they Three, that bit. two, one. Activate. Put a little bit of reverb on that for you, mate. Yeah. 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 That'll sound lovely. Um, for this week, then, don't forget to subscribe. <laughs> 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 I jumped a whole section. I was just going to wrap it up. Um, yeah. Stickitpod.com. Links to everything you need to do with See If It Sticks Land. It's all on there. Everything you need. Social media. You can send us your problems, which we, we I wouldn't say desperately need, but we we crave it. We crave your problems. So send them to Feed us. Feed me, Seymour. That's it. Send them to us. Fling it at stickitpod.com is our email. You can contact us directly. Um, and that is it for this week. I've been Ross. I've been Dan. I have been Dom. Activate. <laughs>